everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. Good to have you here. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. So today's video is gonna be a little different. The lighting's different, the echoing is different because I'm in my kitchen. <laughs> I am doing a collection video. I've been liking to do a couple of these. I did like a nail polish collection. I've done a couple of like my entire makeup collection. This one is my candle collection. I have quite a big candle collection. So the first year that I got out of college, I have a degree in biology and I was trying to get a job in something biology. My first job out of college was a candle company. Um, it was a candle comp company called Gold Canyon Candles, which unfortunately actually now is no longer in business. They, you know, it actually happened, I think before COVID, but it, life happens and it sucks, but it was this amazing. I absolutely loved it. Uh, the, this amazing company, if, if you live in Arizona, you know about Gold Canyon Candles. They're infamous in Arizona. And I worked for them. I worked in the research and development part of the company and I was able to create candles and test candles and do a lot of just research and development into candles. So some of these candles, like I created my own because we were doing like testing and, and trying to see what we could, we could do. Um, and then they would have uh, sales on the candles for like ones that uh, was at like the beginning or the end of the machine. And so the color's not exactly correct or, uh, but the smell is still perfect. And anyways, I have, I got a lot of these, all, all of my gold can candles I got for either I just made them myself and so they were not, they didn't cost anything <laughs> or I got them for a very, very deep discount because I got them because I worked at Gold Canyon and I was went at these sales. I may have a lot of candles, but it is because of that. It's because I worked at a candle company and you just get a lot of candles when you work at a candle company. And there were a lot of them they were just give to us because they were like, oh, we, we worked on this and then it never went through. Like marketing worked on this candle and, or, or like a, a warmer, a Sempod warmer. There was things that, that then it never actually like went through to the end of the process. And so then they would just give it to us. I have, so I have a lot of Gold Canyon candles. And then sporadically in between, I have a, some, a good amount of Bath and Body Works candles and then random other ones that, I don't know, just are interesting. There is this um, brand called Sunset Scents and they are, it's a company that was some like, research and developers, some people who sold the candles, a whole bunch of people from Gold Canyon created this candle company. So it is a company that I'm kind of getting into, but it's, uh, you know, I don't have a ton of candles from them because they're full price. I don't get them for a discount because I don't work for Sunset Scents. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys them because I don't know, I like to see other people's collections, so you might wanna see my collection. And then afterwards I get to kind of organize things. This is not gonna be a declutter, by the way. So if you're looking for a declutter, that's not what this is. Uh, I keep all of my candles because I use them. I burn through candles like crazy. I actually probably have given away like to my family members, hundreds of candles because I had, I, I just kept, I gathered a lot of candles when I worked there and I've given away so many, but this is not a declutter. I, there's none in here that I don't want, that I don't want to keep. So it is good for me to be able to organize these, but yeah, I'm keeping every single one of them. Do I have too many candles? Probably, you know, the lights go out and I have candles. I, I use them for decoration too. And so I'll have candles around the house and the lights go out because the power went out and I'm like, oh, that candle right there, let's burn it. I don't have to pull out candles, I already have them. I have too many candles just to show you the entire collection at once. So we're going to do it by season because that's actually how I organize them. I have four bins of candles and one is a spring bin, one is a summer bin, fall, winter. So. We're gonna, that's how we're gonna organize this. So you are going to see, first off, the spring collection. Okay, so here is my spring collection of candles. I have 20 candles, 20 for just spring. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. Okay, let's go through them. So all of these are Gold Canyon. Okay, so here is one. This is, um, Gold Canyon was kind of famous for a couple of scents. One of them was orange. Another was sugar cookie. So this one I actually have burned a lot as you can see it's the wicks are not perfect um i almost don't want you to judge gold canyon off of the candles that i have 
because some of them, I had them, I bought them because they weren't perfect. <laughs> like this one might have been the wrong wick size that they put into it. And so that's why they sold it to me um, in the like the sale for employees. So anyways, this one I've used up almost entirely. Uh, they don't have like scent notes on them, but it smells like a sugar cookie. It's amazing. And then this one is also sugar cookie, but this one was uh, designed for breast cancer awareness month. So it's sugar cookie is just pink. And so sugar cookie, I feel like doesn't have a good season. <laughs> like that one could be all year round, but it has these pink hearts on it. So that's why it's in the spring. Cause I put, take this out during Valentine's day and this one's pink. So it's for Valentine's day. And then I've got some more pink ones. Um, this one is sweet pea. So the spring ones are going to be a lot of like flowery floral scents. So that one's sweet pea. I haven't burned that one. I like to use this one as uh, a decor decoration sometimes because it's like a big full candle and it's this pretty like lilac color. Okay, then we have this one is a uh, love struck and it was the scent is based off of Victoria's Secret love spell. And I, it, it smells a lot like, mm. Yep, love spell, love spell. Okay, then I have, this one is Lily's and it just has a wrap around it. But this one has, I don't know, it's another Gold Canyon. But this is Plumeria and it is in this really big, it has three wicks because it's kind of a bigger circumference. Um, these two right here are from their like homology line. Oh, this one doesn't, you can see I got some of them through different means because <laughs> it doesn't even have a sticker. But these ones were more of a like um, herbal, this one is lavender eucalyptus and sweet orange. And this one is rosemary mint. And you light these and your house just smells clean. It was, ugh, I love to light these. So I'm actually trying not to use these. I'm like using them sparingly, but they just have a white wax, but this blue jar. And when you burn it, you can see the flame in the blue jar and the flame is blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I love those ones. And those are my only ones of those homology but I love them. Okay, so these four are just kind of like clean scents and I feel like they're very spring is kind of like spring cleaning. And so I I, I put my clean scents in spring. It, spring is kind of a catch all. Like the other ones I feel like summer, I have very, very specific summer scents and fall, very specific fall scents. Anyways, but spring is kind of, you know, it's it should be very floral, um, but uh, other things are in it. So this one is um, Clean Sheets, Gold Canyon. And then this one is, wild jasmine and white pepper and if you're wondering why some of them are in like different packaging they just over the years this was their first packaging with the pretty picture on it and then eventually they were like hey um they have this this design in the glass on the edge here and that when the candle got to that part it used to like flicker around the room really pretty and so they were like why don't we put that all over the jar so anyways there were some developments I'm and then these two are also from gold canyon and these are both dryer sheets so um and i have two of them because i got them on sale and this one is i already burned this one and that one i have not yet this is one that i created i i put in um i think all of i think it's vanilla cupcake yeah it's vanilla cupcake and that is just i have to remember that i didn't label it because i cr i created this one like just me in the lab um i took a pink wax and then I tried to kind of hold it as it dried so that it would be at an angle. And then I put a purple wax and I hold, held it at an angle. And then I took, finally, once it dried enough, then I could put the next layer in and then it was just this blue layer. Um, obviously it's not done perfectly. It was just me experimenting and playing around. This one is very specific for Easter. This is the pomegranate. Pomegranate is another one of their uh, famous flavors that they had scents. And this one has little jelly beans on it. So this one I bring out specifically during Easter because it's like an Easter candy handle. Then I have, this one is one of my favorite scents of all time from Gold Canyon. It is the orange blossom. We had, growing up, we had orange trees. And whenever they would blossom, oh my gosh, they just, I feel like there's a misconception that orange blossoms smell like oranges. They do not. Orange blossoms smell like flowers. They smell they're just amazing. It reminds me of my childhood and growing up with these orange blossoms. So this, and because it's an Arizona company, they got the smell exactly perfectly. Oh, so good. So then from Sunset Scents, once Gold Canyon shut down, I was like, I need this scent. So they were able to um, create orange blossoms with, like, I think they just used the, the same like fragrance vendor and they were able to recreate it. So, yay. Because there were people from Gold Canyon that worked or that 
from Sunset Sense that worked at Gold Canyon. So they knew like the vendors and anyways, it, it worked out nicely. So these four here are Bath and Body Works. And I probably have already shown a lot of these in some of my Bath and Body Works candle videos, but here's Strawberry Pound Cake and we have Into the Night. And this one, I this is kind of where, where we're at a kind of a catch all. Cause this one is kind of like, it has velvet rose petaled and sugar sugared raspberry. So I feel like it could go in, springtime in summertime this one can be kind of a catch-all but the design was kind of like new year's eve looking so i put it in my after christmas candles because like my spring because i felt like it looked like new year's eve so that's that's why that one's there then we have blueberry maple pancakes and i feel like this one also could go in summer because it's kind of fruity but it's here because i don't know i just felt like blueberry pancakes was kind of spring I don't know, it, it just, that's where it hit me. Then I have pink, lilac, and vanilla. So um, all four of those are from, from Bath and Body Works. And then these are from Gold Canyon. That is my spring collection. I will now get out my summer. Okay, I almost forgot about these. These are actually currently decorating my house right now for St. Patrick's Day. So this, these two are actually Christmas candles. This is Days of Christmas. And this one is under the tree, but Days of Christmas smells kind of apple-y and under the tree smells like Christmas tree. But I, I put them out because look at them. They're these beautiful green colors. So I actually decorate some of my house with them. Then I felt like this one had this very, I should probably take the plastic off, but I just, I don't know. It's, there gets no dust in there when I have the plastic on. So I have it on there, but this one is sunshine, which, Honestly, I don't know what that smells like and I haven't opened it yet, but I thought that it looked very Celtic looking. So this one is decorating um, my hutch right now. And then this one as well. This is Palm Lime Whirl and it has these cute little St. Patrick's Day decorations on it. So those are currently like in my house decorating. So then if we have, and none of them are lit, but if we ever have like a power out, I have these around the house so that I can light them and I don't have to go looking for a candle, which is one of the things that I love about constantly having candles out and about because I always feel safe that way. All right, I mean, I have flashlights, but candles are better. Here's my summer collection. I realized that you seeing the caps is not as awesome as seeing the sides, but I can't, they'll just roll everywhere. So here's 41 candles. 41 of my summer collection. Okay, we are going to start with the sunset scents because they're over here and you can't see them, they're off screen. My summer scents are mostly, these are all fruity. And fruity, fruity used to be my favorite scent. Like out of all scents, it'd be like, oh, do you like bakery scents? Do you like fresh scents? Do you like warm, like toasty scents or fruity scents? Fruity was my favorite. Um, I have now expanded a little bit on that and I like a lot of different kinds of, I like fresh scents and I like warm and bakery scents and, but so I might have a lot of, of fruity. Oh no, these are fruity too. Okay. And then, then some other things. So we'll talk about it. So first of all, I have sunset scents and this one is in tan lines. So I think you could probably assume that this one smells like sunblock, but it does. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's like sunblock and pineapple. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, and then I got, I have two of this sunset scents in, what is it? Pineapple coast and pineapple coast. I don't even have it anymore in gold Canyon. It was my very favorite gold Canyon candle. I used it. I used it and used it up and I no longer have any more gold Canyon pineapple coast. Ah, I loved it. It was my favorite. If any of you guys know where I could get some more gold Canyon, Pineapple Coast, let me know. But I have it in the Sudden Scent Sense, which is a, a pretty good duplicate. Not a 100% 100% spot on it, but it's pretty good. Then I have this one in Dragon Fruit Coconut. And this one, look at that color. Isn't that magnificent? I love that, like, it's like a purple neon. I love it. And it smells like fruity coconut. I love it, it's just very summery. Now, I'm going to show you my, um, Bath and Body Works collection. They're also over here. So we have Sunkissed Coconut. We have Turquoise Waters. Look at that, the whales. Oh, I love that. 
So these ones aren't all just fruity. I organized the Gold Canyon by fruity. These are more just Bath and Body Works together. So I have two of the Summer Boardwalk. That is because it was 75% off. So I just got two of them. I probably didn't need two of them, but it was like $6 for a full-size candle. Yeah, you can't beat that. These are delicious. They smell, this smells like salted caramel. It's very warm, which reminds me of fall. So one of these is gonna go in my fall collection after I do this, and one of them will stay in summer because it is called Summer Boardwalk. And then I have um, Coastal Sun and Island Daydream. And then lastly, we have berry waffle cone and peach bellini and i think the majority of them i probably got for at least 75 for 50 or 50 percent off i don't like to pay full price then i have a walmart one this is coconut lime in the mainstays collection from walmart so those are everything that is not gold canyon the rest is gold canyon so i have this this is a blueberry mousse it's weird because i have a blueberry mousse in my summer and then i had that blueberry pancakes um, in spring, ah, they could go either way, really, honestly. Then I have two of this one, and these were ones that I made uh, for some sort of stability testing and then just got to keep, and so they don't have a, a, a marker on them, but this is coconut, uh, what is it, coconut mango, and it's, it's absolutely delicious. It smells fantastic. Then we have, I don't even, like you can't get these anymore, but it's fun to show you my collection. Um, this is berries and cream, and this one is Thai pineapple. This one's really cute because it's like a Father's Day design. So it's also in summer because I put it out for Father's Day. And then we have this one, which is, this is pomegranate, but their pomegranate was such a special, like it was one of their most popular scents. So they tried to color in different colors for different like seasons. So this is just one of those different colors of pomegranate, but it's still pomegranate. I think I actually was creating this color for like color matching. And then I just, and then I, I also put the fragrance in it to see if it changed the color at all. And then they were like, okay, <laughs> get rid of the, the wax. And I was like, okay, I'll make a candle of it. So I don't think they actually ever sold a big candle of this color. I think they sell them in little like tea light candles, but uh, I have it because I created it. Um, anyways, then we have, some of them have seen better days. What is that? I'm embarrassed to show you that. I have no idea. They've all just been in storage boxes. So I don't even know what that is, but this is lemon ice. This was one of my favorite ones. It's so fresh. This one is also lemon ice. So they just, this one was sold on the bakery side. And then this one was sold in their like regular heritage, these glass ones. So these both are lemon ice. That's okay. Then this one was one that I made. And remember how I talked about if you put things in the light, they can change colors. This is a perfect example of it. It's supposed to be this really pretty like teal aqua color but then this one got in the light this was one that we were just experimenting with color with another one that i was i found like i can color matched it and then i had extra wax so but we we this one hadn't been color tested yet anyways it was a long process this one clearly needed some of the treatment for uv testing because look at that it still smells amazing it smells like blueberry mousse but this is what happens to a candle when it doesn't have the correct uv additives in it to make it not turn color in the sunlight so this is it it's really disgusting looking but i still burn it because it's it smells delicious it just didn't have the all of the stability testing done on it yet and that's just because we were still color matching at that point anyways so then i had this oh this is another one um this one is uh, fruit fusion i believe i am i like this doesn't have a label on it this is me having a, a good memory, which is very rare for me. I don't have a good memory, but actually working with these candles for the year that I did, like I really, a lot of these names stuck in place for some reason. I don't know. And then this one was, I think it was Caribbean Sky. Um, and this one is a really, mm, this one, again, it's it doesn't burn correctly because we were still just doing testing on it. So like, honestly, if Gold Canyon was still, <laughs> still in business, I would be like, don't test the quality and performance of my candles. Um, but these are not Gold Canyon standard. We were still in the testing process for a lot of these. So this one just was in the testing process, but um, 
it's Caribbean sky and it smells very orange and citrusy and it's just amazing. Okay. These two were from the same collection and it's so funny because there is actually a line of demarcation here where one of these colors is darker than the other color, but you can't really tell because it's been a couple of years and the, the colors have kind of leached into each other. But one of them is like strawberry, I believe. And one of them is watermelon. And it's really good because you burn through the strawberry and then you get down to the watermelon and they've kind of mixed a little bit together. So you get like this beautiful strawberry watermelon scent. Mm, so good. And then this one also, we have the line of demarcation, which you can't even really see. It actually, if you can see this little like measurement, that's how we were able, like this is where the dark color went and then the lighter one. This one was blueberry mousse and I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember what the other one was, but it was good. This, see, here's more of our stability testing that we did. This one was one we put in the warehouse to test. And so it was an Arizona company and the warehouse didn't have air conditioning. And so everything in the warehouse would oil out like crazy. And then we would send them to people and then they would get these oiled out candles. And so we did stability testing in the warehouse so that they would do well in the warehouse. So we could add things to the wax to make it so that it, it wouldn't oil out so that when people got their candles, they were perfect and they weren't all like oiled out. So anyways, this one was Patinka Peach and that was just some stability testing we did on it. This is Strawberry Shortcake. What is this? I don't know. And some of these you can see I've burnt through. So I'm definitely not decluttering these because I'm using them. Um, then this one, another stability testing one. This was Strawberry Kiwi. What was this one? Oh, this one had a, uh, this one was, we tested with um, UV, I believe. Anyways, just fun. This is another fruit fusion. This, both of these are fruit fusion. They're just in different containers. So anyways, and it's just a really nice like fruit punch kind of scent to it. Then we have this one. Um, this actually is one that is in perfect condition because on your birthday, you were able to pick out a candle and they would give it to you for free for your birthday. And, and it, was one of, it wasn't one of the ones that were poor quality or like, you know, one of the ones that didn't have the right color or didn't have the right wick or that they sold to us on the cheap. This was like one of the ones that they would have sold to an actual customer. And so <laughs> I haven't even burned it yet because it's like, the lid's hard to get off <laughs> because it just means so much to me because it's one of like the original full price ones that I actually have, <laughs> which is rare. Um, this is another watermelon one and this was more testing. We were testing it in this jar and it didn't, I don't think it did very well, but anyways. Okay. Then we have fizzy pop. And so any of them that are like this are just us doing testing because I was in the research and development department. This one is a sparkling apricot. And this one actually is not a testing one. This is one I got uh, from the sale of the ones that were not very good, I guess. I don't know. And you can tell I've stacked things on top of it because the wicks are like, I can't even get them up. They're like, they're in, in the wax. My bad. I think I usually stack this one on top of it actually. So that's exactly what happened. <laughs> this one smells really good though. One day I'll just have to get those wicks back up. So this is yuzu berry and another, again, another really pretty fruit one. So then those are all my fruity ones. <laughs> now I have ones that are not as fruity. This one, oh, there's wax, wax on the outside of the candle. Of course, this one was mint chocolate chip ice cream. And it was this color. I remember it was so hard to create this color because it was such a light green color, but we got it eventually. And it smells very minty, but this one in particular, um, I remember it smelled so much differently. The liquid wax smelled so much different than burning the candle. I remember thinking the liquid wax was a little bit too pepperminty and just kind of overwhelming and kind of gave me a headache. But when I would burn this, it smelled, it, it ended up having that like, the fire scent to it because of a fire and like, whew. and so with the peppermint, oh, it was my favorite. I, I, this one was mine of my favorites to burn, but I didn't like the, the, just the wax scent, which you guys like, you never have just, unless you put it on a warmer, I'd say. But anyways, it's so interesting. Can't, you would think candles aren't that interesting, but they actually are. Then this is birthday cake. And this one I put in summer because my birthday's in summer. I could probably put this one in spring because I have like the sugar cookies in spring. And I probably will after this because I want kind of categories to go together. But I put this out, birthday cake for my birthday that's in August. <laughs> this is one of my favorites because this color. 
And this was another color that was really hard to create because of, it's so rich and so deep that it would clog the wicks. So we had to keep trying bigger and bigger and bigger wicks for this one. It was just crazy. But it is called Coast and it's it smells kind of clean. It smells very like cleaning, like, I don't know, it has that fresh linen-y kind of smell to it. And then we have this one, which is Beach. And this one smells like suntan lotion. And it's one of my favorites. I super love that. I love the suntan lotion smell. Then we have this one, which is, it's a happy 4th of July one. This is a citronella. Of course, a candle company has to take care, take advantage of the citronella, right? And so this one is called, actually this is Sunset Scents, but this is Firecracker Citronella. You know, and I feel like it has a very light scent to it because you're supposed to light it outside and it's not really supposed to smell that powerful anyways. Then we have these cute, sometimes they have these cute little things that you can decorate with. And so we have these cute little votive candles. Like, okay, let's see what it, that one in a moment. And so we have these cute little, oh, where's the, okay, that one is missing its starfish. I've lost it over time. Little holders, and then you just put votives in it. It didn't break, it's still fine. It's still fine, but apparently I can't carry three things at once. But these I just put on my hut during summertime to decorate, they're so cute. That's 41 candles, not including, if you include each one of these, which I don't in the candles because they're votives, I'm talking about full size. So 41 full-size summer candles. All right, let's get to fall. Here are my fall and Halloween candles. It's so funny because this one is my favorite scent. I pulled out these candles and I was like, mmm, fall. It smells so good. It smells so pumpkin-y and spicy and warm. The funny thing about this season is that it was, I didn't actually work at Gold Canyon when we were working on this season. So, this is the only amount of Gold Canyon candles that I have from this season because I actually worked at Gold Canyon candles for nine months and then we moved to Utah. And so I wasn't able to work there anymore. And the way that we work on candles there is that you work like two seasons ahead of time so that you have the candles before the season. It could have even been three seasons ahead of time. Anyways, I missed fall completely. I worked on spring, summer and winter candles but never fall so I'm so sad because it's like my favorite scent but I don't have very many gold candy candles of it it's just it's just sad it's just the way it is so here are my Halloween ones so let's keep let's start with those we have Haunted Nights from Bath and Body Works this one is actually very cologne smelling it doesn't it doesn't remind me of Halloween at all but with this pretty decor this like gothic with the skeletons and I mean it is Haunted Nights I keep it in the Halloween section and then this one is pumpkin carving which smells like pumpkin. This one is Vampire Blood. I actually got this one for 75% off during the last semi-annual sale. It actually has more of a strawberry scent to it, so I could put this in my summer collection, but I have so many candles in my summer collection. I actually, I'm counting, I have 41 candles in my summer collection and 26 in my fall collection. So we're gonna keep this in my fall Halloween because it fits in there better. This one I got from Walgreens, and it's Witch's Brew, and I just, like, I think it smells kind of apple-y, but it is, I keep it for the decor. Look at that pretty like iridescent color to it. I love that one, that one's so pretty. And then this one I got from Walgreens also, it is candy corn <laughs> and it has a cute little lid. Um, then this one is from Gold Canyon. We called it Twilight Sky. This one was one that took quite a bit of like stability testing and for us to make to be able to have this dark section and then this pink section, but not have a huge line of demarcation. We had to do a lot of experimenting to get that right. But the, the theme was to have it like be um, a sunset fading into like a deep sky. So it was very Halloween and haunted-y and it smells kind of cologne-y as well. It's, it's, I, it, it's kind of a dark kind of musk smell to it. So that's, I feel like that fits Halloween pretty well. Then I have a candle holder. I got this one at the 75% off Bath and Body Works sale as well. And it's just a cute bat candle holder. So those are my Halloween candles and candle holders. This one actually was part of our Christmas collection, but it is salted caramel. So I put it in my fall collection because I feel like salted caramel is more of a warm fall fragrance for me. Then this one is maple bark. So maple -y. This one is Coconut Angel Food Cake, which could probably go in, there's a couple candles that really could go in any collection. I just have to choose which one I want it to be in because I, don't, I feel like Coconut Food Cake, Coconut Angel Food Cake go in spring, summer, 
or fall, but it's more of that bakery warm scent. So I put it in fall. And then I have a toasted coconut macaroon. And then this is one that I was experimenting with in the lab and it, I'm almost done with it. So but it, I know I was experimenting with it because it doesn't have a label on it. And like after we do the stability testing on the, we were able to take them home. And so this one was oatmeal raisin cookie and it is absolutely delicious. I'm almost done with it. Uh, next fall, that one will be gone. I'll finish it up. Then we have, what's this one? Mold cider. This one is a very spicy, cidery, apple cider scent. And it's, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I really like this one. And then last but not least for Gold Canyon is this guy. This one I'm almost done with as well. There's some that I'm trying to finish off. And this is pumpkin pie. And I actually, I had a trio of these, a green, a a red and a cream colored one. And I put them out during Christmas time. And then I realized that this one was that pumpkin scent. And since I didn't have very many pumpkin of the Gold Canyon ones, I was like, I need to burn this one during fall, even though it totally looked with the, the set, it looked so pretty together, but I didn't care because I wanted to burn the, the pumpkin smell. And Gold Canyon pumpkin, mm, so good, so good. So then this section over here, right here, this is candles that I got from like Walmart and Walgreens. So this one right here is spiced cardamom. It is really cute. I haven't burned it because I use it for decor. It's in this cute little acorn. So cute. This is a Walmart brand. It's the mainstays. These both are the mainstays brand. This one's pumpkin spice and this is salted caramel, caramel butterscotch. Then we have another one from um, Walmart. This one is the Better Homes and Garden brand and this is pumpkin pie. So because I don't have as many in the Gold Canyon, I kind of was experimenting in other places and buying candles from like Walmart and Walgreens and seeing if I could, I don't know, I guess I would like to fill my house with just this scent. And so I wanted a plethora. Um, then lastly, I have from Yankee, this is spiced pumpkin. So, okay. Then last but not least, we have our Bath and Body Works candles. So we have white pumpkin. This one is probably my favorite pumpkin scent from Bath and Body Works. This one has such a like it's, it's a spicy pumpkin, but it's not overwhelmingly strong. It's very like elegant. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, then these two I was able to get for 75% off. And so I picked two of them up. It's spiced cardamom. I feel like it just smells like cinnamon. It really doesn't smell like, I don't really know what cardamom smells like, but it smells like cinnamon to me, like cinnamon clove. That is a very cinnamon. And this one probably, maybe I could put one in my Christmas one because cinnamon is a very Christmas as well as fall. So I don't know, we'll see what I, what I do. Then I got these two as well, these two, again, 75% off, so I bought two. Pumpkin vanilla cream, a beautiful pumpkin-y, creamy scent. Then we have pumpkin clove. This is my, this one and the white pumpkin are my favorite pumpkin smells from Bath and Body Works. This one has more of that spice to it. It has more of that clove. It is, it's pretty strong, but if you know you like it, you know you like it, and I know I like it. Um, then we have pumpkin pecan waffles and another pe pumpkin pecan waffles. Again, 75% off, so you buy two. <laughs> all right, that is all of my fall. Actually, no, I forgot to show you these. Again, I have another cute little set of candles from Bath & Body Works that is in these little boats. Dang it! I'm dropping and breaking things. Well, that one broke. Dang it! Okay, so this one, I should just show you the hats. These both... These all used to be in much better condition. Now this one's broken. I'm gonna have to super glue that as soon as I'm done. These used to all have this cute little boo on top of them. And this one doesn't, and this one, these have bats on the side, but all of them are really cute. And then they go on top of these little, these actually used to have wicks inside of them. They still do, but um, an Arizona summer melted these and they no longer have wicks inside of them. But this was the scent Haunted Walk, which was also another, Actually, it was based on the scent Autumn Walk, but it's a very perfumey, uh, cologne, musky scent. Anyways, these I just use for decorating and during Halloween time. Okay, those are my fall candles. Let's go to the last one, which is my Christmas candles. These are my holiday, Christmas, winter candles. I don't have as many of this as either. Interesting. I have the most summer and spring for Gold Canyon. Hmm. I don't know. That's just how the cookie crumbled on this one. These are Bath and Body Works. 
Let's start with Bath and Body Works. You guys have already seen most of them because I did these in like my candle day haul and other hauls like that. But this is iced vanilla woods. This one smells very lavendery. I'm almost done with it actually. It's so good. It smells so good. We have flannel and this one I feel like is very cologne scent. The, the cologne scent has become a recent love of mine so I don't have very many scents in that but this has more of a cologne like musky scent to it. Then we have campfire donut. I feel like this one could go into my fall collection as well. I don't know it has like trees on it with with like snow so I put it in my winter collection it could go in either one I don't have a lot of winter ones so it's in the it, that's where it is this is joy or this is a snicker sugared snickerdoodle again this one also could go in my fall candles because it's it's a baking scent but it has the pretty Christmas decorations on it so we're gonna keep it in my, my Christmas okay then we have this one is the perfect Christmas I mean yeah, of course, that one's Christmas. It's the perfect Christmas. Uh, Winter Cabin, it, it has a cologne scent to it, but it also kind of has like a a fiery scent to it, which I don't always love. But that one is, I, I like that one. It's good. And this is called Better Not Pout. I got this one at a semi-annual sale years ago. So this one doesn't even, I don't think they even have this one anymore, but it's spiced gingerbread, vanilla icing, sparkling cinnamon sugar. So this one again could go in fall because it has that, those fall baking scents. But with the gingerbread, I feel like it's more Christmas. So there are my Bath and Body Works. Then remember in the fall one, I had this huge candle, <laughs> the, the pumpkin pie one. This is one of the other ones that was part of that set. This is in the scent Cozy Christmas. I actually put this cute little thing around it just because I could and I thought it was pretty. So this is Cozy Christmas. These are these are Gold Canyon. These are two or not. We'll talk about the, those at the end then. Then we have, this one is Peppermint Bark. And this one is a lot, I don't know, it's, it's very pepperminty. And it's, it is just like that mint chocolate chip one where I think it smells better on the burn than the melted wax. This is Days of Christmas. This one is kind of like that, um, it has like a drummer and a partridge in a pear tree. So it's like that um, 12 days of Christmas song, but it, it smells very apple-y. So this one could probably even go in my summer collection, but it has the, I don't know, it's called days of Christmas. So I put it in Christmas. Then this one here, this is pomegranate. And I, during Christmas time, I showed you guys the, the green under the tree candle that I had that's out right now. In, on my decorations for St. Patrick's Day. I put that one with this one. Let me go get it. Let's just go get it. So I put these two together like for decor and I just think it looks so pretty. <laughs> They're, it, it's this perfect, you know, red and green. So those I use as decor. Anyways, I use this in decor for St. Patrick's Day and for Christmas. It's a win-win. Let's put that one over there because we already it'll go back once I undecorate for Chris or for St. Patrick's Day I will put this back in my Christmas collection and then we have this one this one oh I made this one um what was this one called oriental spice I think it was called anyways it's very spicy it's very um it has a cinnamony like it's almost like a Christmas tree with cinnamon I don't know it's it's we it's a fall scent I think they actually ended up renaming it later years later but I don't know what they renamed it okay then I have two of this this one is juniper berries so juniper is like a Christmas tree so juniper berries one of them I started burning the other not then this is one that oh my gosh it's seen better days I've had this one for years because I actually I think I have like three of them this one is already on its I, I this these two are the same candle but this is it when it started I mean, it's, it's seen better days though. Um, <laughs> sitting in a basement for like 10 years makes it, it not look as good as it used to. But um, what was really awesome about this one is that this is sugar cookie, this is peppermint bark, and then this was some like, it was a peppermint bark cookie or, or candle. And so then we did like the peppermint, we did like crumbles of peppermint, um, like votive wax on top. Actually, I burned it a little bit. Oh, dang it, I wish I didn't so you could see what it looked like. Dang it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Uh, the the So it was supposed to look like peppermint bark because it had the crumbles of that votive wax on top. Anyways, this one is so amazing because it as it burns down, it mixes with that sugar cookie. 
I wish I had 20 more of these, but I only have the one. I think I had three originally. And then this one's almost gone. And in this bottom part is mostly sugar cookie, but it's, there will be like a hint of the peppermint bark left over. Whew. So, and then I have these two from Yankee. Wait, no. Yeah, wait, no. This one's Yankee. This is sparkling cinnamon. And this one is Tuscan, Tuscany candle. I think I got this one from Walmart, but this is Fraser fur. So that it's an interesting thing because I always thought that like Christmas candles were more like the smell of Christmas trees. And I do, I really do love the smell of Christmas trees, but there's more to it than that. There's apple scents and there are pepperminty and and some of these are more cologne and and some of them are baking it's it's whatever you want to put in your winter scents you can but to me this is my winter scents i mean this is what i have okay so let's count up how many i have 17 so we have 20 plus 41 plus 26 plus 17 and then plus the four from saint patrick's day so how many do we have there i have 108 candles so I have 17 Christmas candles. Um, although technically this one is a Christmas candle and then I had another one that was a Christmas candle. Anyways, I this is right now being decorated for St. Patrick's Day. So total, how many candles do I have in my collection? 108. I have 108 candles. I feel like a lucky girl. <laughs> do I need 108 candles? No but I want 108 candles. I use these and also like, I feel like they're good for like home supplies to have the candles like when the power goes out. So that's my excuse for why I have so many. Okay, well, there is my entire candle collection as of today. I hope you guys liked that. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be reminded of my videos, push the bell. All right, most importantly, remember to be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.